So I've come up to this uh, sheet of ice here to do a little bit of practice and I'm wearing a helmet for that because if I'm not used to travelling on crampons I could slip and a helmet might just protect me if I'm falling onto hard ice. But that doesn't mean to say that if you're travelling in the mountains, uh, if you're walking, going for a walk, that you need to carry a helmet all the time. So on this flattish ice to begin with, I'm going to use a technique called flat footing. And that means that I'm stamping the downward facing uh, points of the crampons into the ice. And I'm doing that not with a heavy stamp, but with a little stamp at the end of it, so that it gets them securely into the ice. And I'm going to do that across this flattish piece of ice first of all. So I'm just flexing my ankles to make sure that all the spikes go into the ice. Now I come to a little bit of steeper stuff here so I can start to move my foot across the front and it enables you to go diagonally up. So I'm accentuating the movement in front of my boot so I don't catch my crampon on the other foot. I've now come to a slightly steeper bit of ice and I can introduce a new technique here. So at this point I'm going to start using my front points. That's the front, four front points of the boot, the two sticking forward and then the two that are semi uh, forward just down below. I can put my axe in my preferred hand now as I'm going up uh, straight up. And as I do that I want to keep my heels fairly horizontal. The reason for that is I don't want to prise the boot out because if I lower them the front points are going to prise out and that's going to actually make them insecure. So on hard ice it can get pretty tiring particularly if you're going to be front pointing all the time. So you can adapt your technique even further to use a hybrid technique where one foot is front pointing and the other one is flat footing. On a nice easy slope like this that's quite easy and it gives you a little bit of a rest. So off I go, front pointing with one, flat footing with the other, just using the axe for support. That's actually much more relaxing and it gives me the option to change my feet and rest each one as I'm making my progress up the ice. OK, so if I get to a point where I'm going to make a traverse across the ice, I'm going to be very selective about my terrain, because the steeper it is, the more difficult it's going to be to flat foot, and I don't want to be flexing my ankles too much. So I've picked a nice little ledge across the ice here, and I'm just going to come across that. So it's very easy just to get my downward facing points onto that flat ice, and I'm not at risk flexing my, my legs. So that's the basic way to traverse across the ice, to select your terrain, and that keeps you nice and safe. So now we're going to look at descending the ice. And again, I'm looking at the terrain because I want to see my easiest way down. And then I'm going to change my technique appropriately to that steepness. So I've selected a nice snowy ramp for this first bit where I can get my down facing crampon points in, just flat footing. Just going to look downhill now, and I can still flat foot, I'm going to change my axe to the preferred hand, but again, by sort of staying in balance over my feet in a skiing position, I can still keep flat footing down. Okay, so now I've got over this slightly steeper ice, I'm going to go into a bit of transition. I'm going to shift my axe around again, and I'm going to get it into the ice so I can get into a front pointing position. I'm doing that before I get on the steeper ice, and then off I go down. Now the front pointing is coming into its own now. My axe is giving me security. My other hand is just resting on the ice for balance. And once I get on the flattest ice, I can go back into a flat footing position. One of the great things about modern crampons is they're fitted with anti-balling plates and no longer do you have to keep looking at your boots and giving them a tap, which is a terrific advantage because it puts you in an unbalanced position. So when we're coming down to a stage where we're going to take our crampons off, 
Once more we want to pick a nice flat location where we're going to be secure. And we can get the crampons off in that position. Most of them have a quick release lock so they're off in seconds. But because of that, we do have to remember that when they're off, we now haven't got 24 spikes on the bottom of our feet and we don't want to go skating around. So we have to have a little mental note that the crampons are off and we're back to the boots. Okay, to summarize then, uh, what we want to think about when we're using crampons is, first of all, let's put them on early. We're then gonna choose the terrain that we use them on take the easy angle slopes if you can and then use the appropriate technique for those slopes and go slow and deliberately there's no need to rush and if you're going to practice this look at the terrain you're practicing on and then think what if something's going to happen